Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So one more famous interview question with respect to strings today that you have to count the occurrence of a specific character in a string. For example, let's see if you have a string something something like this a string str is equal to thing I love uh, coding and then we have to tell that how many times a specific character is getting repeated. For example, let's see O is coming two times, right? And same thing if I say that uh, how many times I is coming I is coming only one time So I have to create a generic function where we have to pass the string and we have to pass that for which occurrence you want to Check the occurrence count for which character you want to look for the occurrence count So there are multiple options. Uh, we can solve this problem. The first of all that we can uh, use a couple of things we can use one character array also we can convert this string into character array and then we can iterate with the loop with the help of let's see for loops or something second option we can use uh, once again we can use up to the length of the string so we can use whatever the str uh, dot up to up to the length and then we can use a character add function and then uh, we can pass whatever the index let's see i and then we can compare the value which is what exactly the character that you are looking for that also we can do that third option we can use uh, third option we can use that is a third party utility we can use apache uh, common uh, string utils also we can use that there is a method direct method is available and then we can use the streams also uh, java streams jdk 8 uh, streams also we can use that with the help of the streams we can uh, create one character uh, stream and then input character stream and then we can use uh, a filter and then we can get the count like that so streams also we can use that so let's see all these options one by one so what exactly i'm going to do that first of all that let's see this is string i love coding a uh, normal first option that is character array for for loops we are going to use that so i'll do one thing that i maintain one first of all let's see one character count which is or let's see simple count that we can maintain is equal to zero and then I'm going to write a for loop and my for loop will be like character a ch and then whatever the string that you're using a string dot a two character array so this two character array will return what it will return one character array so that's why I'm creating a for each loop over here and then I'll put a simple condition that if that character array which is equal to equal to what exactly you're looking for Let's say I'm looking for the reputation of uh, O in this case if the condition is satisfied I simples increase the value of count by one count plus plus and I'll come out of the for loop and then I simple write system dot out print Ellen give me the total number of occurrences for that particular value. So if you run this program, let's see it is working or not. So you can see that O is coming two times O is coming two times over here. Same thing. Let's see. I'm checking with the L now and then you run it again. So you can see L is coming only one time. I'm going to check that. Okay, there are two spaces also available. You can check the spaces also or let's see. Let me check the spaces and uh, you can see space is coming also two times. Then I'll do one thing. Let's say I simple write coding and uh, testing. Now I'm going to check with I how many times it is getting uh, occurrence and run it again. I is coming two times. You can see I and I. Let's check with the T as well. So uh, T is coming also uh, two times. So this logic is absolutely working fine. So what you can do is that you can create a function out of the main method and then I simple create something like this. Let's see public void and then I simple write get a character occurrence and this guy say okay fine you give me the main string and then give me the which character that you are looking for. So I simple say let's see this is my uh, character value that I'm looking for and whatever the logic that we have return I'll just cut it from there and then paste it here and uh, I remove the hard coded values. So this is str and this value that I'm looking for instead of T over here and that's it and I'm going to call this method. I just simple make it a static. No need to create the object. I simple call this method from here and the string is that is I love coding and testing. And which character value that you are looking for let's see i'm looking for this time g and you run it so it's giving you g is coming two times perfect and i'll do one thing that whatever the character is coming value plus put a colon and then plus over here so that you will get the 
character value along with that so g is coming two times over here like that so this is the first solution that we have written now similarly we can create one more solution guys that is um, with the help of uh, uh, character at also we can use that we can uh, start a loop up to the length of the string so i'll do one thing i'm going to create one more method let's see public uh, static avoid get uh, simple write get character count let's see another method that i have written and this guy again says that you give me what you give me the main string and then give me the character that you are looking for let's see character value and then again i'm maintaining one counter over here which is uh, count is equal to zero and then i'm going to start a simple for loop a typical for loop let's say integer i equal to zero and then i less than what up to the str dot length so i'll be using str dot length and then keep increasing the value of i plus plus if the condition is satisfied it will come inside the loop and then i'll put a condition here that if whatever the string that you are passing i'm going to check this method character at method and pass the index so character at method will give you the value the character is available on a specific index so first time i equal to zero i'll be passing i over here if it is equal to equal to that value that you are looking for i'm looking for this particular value it means the condition is satisfied and i'll keep increasing the value of count by one and i'll come out of the for loop and i simply print the value of count once again over here i'll do one thing i simply print the same format over here now let's uh, run this method as well so simple i'm writing uh, let's see str and this time i'm looking for let's see i and you run it again so for i is coming two times and g is coming two times like that so this is the second solution we can do that guys you can add the null a null check also and one single string also you can add it if you can check what a condition if the length is equal to equal to uh, one in that case uh, you can simple return a false or return nothing or minus one also you can return that okay that i'm going not going to add you can add it by your own or you can in fact check one null check also you can put it you can do that that we have already seen in various examples in the previous videos as well then let's take the example of streams and then we will take about uh, uh, string utils also so for this help of streams uh, what exactly we can do so what we do is that uh, whatever the string that we have this is string right uh, i love coding and testing i'll do one thing i'll just put it over here i simply write str dot uh, cats you can see it will give you an integer stream and uh, i'll apply what i'll do i'll simply map it to the object map to this particular object and then i'll create one e any variable give it to the lambda and then i'm going to convert a string dot value of method value of what the value of whatever the e that you are getting and then type cast into character okay so for every character i'm converting into the string and then i'm going to apply a filter over here so i simply write dot a filter and filter on the basis of what if i'm going to simply write e supply to e dot uh, equals if it is equal to what the character that you are looking for is i'm looking for i in that case you give me the count so i simply write a dot let's see give me the count over here and then that's it so count is giving you a long okay number so i'll do one thing that uh, write it over here this is my long account which is equal to this and then we will try to print the value of count system dot out print talent print the value of count it means from this particular string how many times i is coming let's see so i'll do one thing let me just comment it out these two ways i'm not going to call these two methods and then you run it again so you can see i is coming two times is it right or not yes i is coming two times small i not the capital i then i'm going to check that uh, let's see i'm going to write some more values let's see i am so so again i'll check with i i have added one more i over there so i is coming three times which is absolutely fine i'm going to check the value of p also you can see p is coming back to back two times so the occurrence of p is uh, two times this is also fine so this is also in the form of uh, streams we can do that and i'll do one thing i'll just uh, cut it from here and then i'm going to use in a normal a function i'm going to create a function here then i simply create a streams function and then this is what i'll say i simply say that give me the main string that you are looking for a string str and then what then give me the character value also so str will be applied over here 
to get the string and then value i'll be applying over here okay once it will check and then get the count from here and that's it and then we will print the exactly same format the value and along with its occurrence we can simply do that and when i call this method from here so let me call it ah we have to pass a string not this one so string value we have to pass and then this is a string value as a character we have to pass i guys not the character okay so let's run it again now i is coming as three guys okay because we are using a string dot value of and then e dot equals will be applied on the string only not on the character so with g also coming two times you can see coding g and testing g also like that so this is one of the method that we have used with the help of streams now what exactly we can use we can use apache common uh, string utils also so for that uh, java does not provide this utility we have to do what we have to download guys one uh, apache common slang library we have to use that if you are using maven or gradle you can add this particular dependency if you are using a normal java project you can download the jar also from there so let me click on the download page we need to download the binary so we can do one thing we can download this particular zip file so this zip file i have already downloaded we just need to unzip it so how exactly it will look like see this this is a common slang that i have already downloaded here this is the jar we have to add in the java build path so what exactly i'm going to do that i'll go to my i'll go to my project right click on it go to properties and then simple go to libraries and add the class path add external jar and then simple add this particular jar file over here and click on open apply and close and then what exactly we have to do we have to use uh, there is a class that is called a string utils class so this is string a utils a dot there is a method that is called count matches and count matches for what count matches for this particular string and then for which character that you are looking for for example let's say i'm looking for the character o and the count matches will give you what it's giving you one integer count so i simply say that okay integer count is equal to this and then i'll print it on the console system dot out of print ln print the value of count and let's run it again so let's see it is working or not see so for o is coming three times is saying this is one this is two and then this is three right okay let me check with the small p with the small p also it is giving you same thing so this uh, utility also you can use that so you just need to see this this uh this string util is actually coming from org apache commons library lang3 library you have to add an external a jar for that so this also you can use that that's all for this particular video guys these are the four ways i have explained if you have any other way of uh, getting the occurrence of a specific character from the given string please feel free to write in the comment section i would happy to Uh, see your code as well and i'll coming with the new videos a lot of good videos are coming in future guys with respect to string arrays and a lot of good data uh, structures and collections we are going to cover with respect to interview questions and everything so i hope you are liking this series if you are liking it please like comment and share share with your friends and your colleagues who are looking for some really good interviews and these are the question people will ask you at time of interview till then take care and i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye